Hey everyone, just want to do a short video to talk about um, one feature that seems to be a huge, um, hugely missed opportunity in a lot of builds. And I know I've had a couple of videos talking about missed opportunities. One of them was, you know, the kitchen and whether you put a built-in stove or not. Obviously in here you can see there is no built-in stove. Um, we have hot plates that we pull out and you can just set up electric and butane and you can set them up anywhere uh, in the kitchen. But the one I want to talk about today was heated floors. And if you look at my video on the van build with the mini split, that was done for my mother who spent the last few years in Florida or South Carolina um, for six months living out of that van and using all of the features in it. And I've asked her about many different you know, ways she used the van and what her favorite feature is. And her favorite feature, uh, well above everything else, she says, isn't the mini split, it's the heated floors. And I put one strip of heating through right down the, the aisle of the, uh, of the van and uh, she can turn it on and off. There's no thermostat because these don't get so hot that they'll burn your feet. So they just give off really warmth to your, to your, to your bare socked feet. And it does warm up the van in cool temperatures. It won't heat your van, but it keeps the chill out nicely. It's silent. It's extremely efficient and extremely easy to put in. So with that, I'll just talk a little bit about what I've been using because this trailer, which um, I've got another video on just coming out, we did heated floors of the whole thing. So there is five different um, heating areas. Like there's one here, there's one down this way, there's one down this length, there's one down here in the bathroom, and there's one in the entryway over here. And what we did was we used a product called Quiet Warmth. These floor, these floor systems are very inexpensive. You can buy them in different widths and lengths. For example, this one is three feet by five feet. You can buy one that's one and a half feet by 10 feet <clears throat> if you wanted for your van. And the nice thing is you can cut them shorter and it doesn't affect them. The other important thing about these is they're 120 volt. So they're gonna run off your inverter. They're not 12 volt, but they run extremely efficiently off your inverter. They draw very little power and um, it works really well. You have to be careful because they sell a lot of them in 240 volts. So you have to get the one that's for 120 volt. And you can see a little bit in the pictures here, but all you do is you roll out this, this thin film on your floor. So you insulate your floor first, roll this out, and then you put on your top flooring. You can see in here, it's a, it's almost like a thin plastic with, um, flat, thin heating elements. So it takes up no space. So all you do, so what I would do is I put down my insulation, I lay this out, tape it down to hold it in place. You have to run the wires and usually what I do is just, I would just embed the wires a little bit into whatever insulation I use. So if it was um, closed cell foam, for instance, you can just cut a little channel and push it to the side and leave those wires at one spot where you want to put in the, the outlet box. And then you put your flooring on top and you can use laminate flooring. You can use, I like luxury vinyl tile. Um, you could put a full roll of vinyl flooring, um, anything you want pretty much can go underneath this. And it, it, it just works. And all you have to do with the electrical termination is you run it into an outlet. So you put an outlet box on the wall where you're bringing it up and it has to be hooked into a GFCI outlet just for water infiltration, just to be safe. Um, and then you just run that to your inverter. Uh, in my f breaker panels here, I just use a breaker. So it's run right to this 20 amp breaker. It doesn't need to be 20 amps, it's just what I had. Um, and you can turn it on or off from there. And you don't need a thermostat because it, it doesn't get that hot. It just gets really nicely warm. Um, this product costs a couple hundred dollars and, and it's probably the cheapest, best investment you'll ever make when you're doing a van build. And it will probably take you less than an hour to put the whole thing in. So anyway, quick video. Just want to talk about that. I think you guys should all consider doing this if you're putting in a van build. Um, and you're remotely capable of doing any electrical work. <clears throat> it's very simple. And you'll never regret having it. And you don't have to use it. It doesn't take up any space. It doesn't add a lot of weight. Um, and it doesn't add a lot of cost. So I... 
I will put this in every single build I do, requested or not. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments below. Thanks.